Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golfball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing a Celebi EX deck in the expanded format. Celebi EX is the 110 HP grass type Pokemon with 100 tree cost, weakness to fire. It does have water resistance, which is pretty nice, and is from Boundaries Crossed. Pretty long time ago. Um, time recall each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. We're never really going to take advantage of this. We're going to actually focus on Wind Whisk. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, six were only hits were only 60. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So we're gonna do a hit and run tactic. We're gonna have Zorark here with Stand In and a Fold Stone. Could use Caldeo, but Zorark is a good backup attacker, especially if you're facing against um, you know Suicune and Sigilyph and uh, things like Regice. So Stand In is basically a rush in with Caldeo. Mind Jack is a decent attack. Hits for 10 damage. A base attack of 10. Does 30 more for each uh, of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Fighting Weakness, um, Psychic Resistance, and then two Retreat Costs for this guy uh, is from the uh, Breakthrough set. Now, uh, we are going to be playing more Celebes. Celebi Month, guys. It is Celebi Month, and uh, I believe it was... Um, who was it? Lau Z or L-O-W-K-Z Pokemon suggested this uh, about a week ago, and then we also had a pile of bacon confirming that they wanted to see this deck. So... Leap of Time is actually a really cool ability, uh, or, yeah, and then we have the Ancient Trait, uh, Stop, right, right here, Fata Stop right here, 70 HP, Grass-type Pokemon, is a promo, XY, 93, Leap Through Time, when this Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin, if heads, shuffle this Pokemon, all cards attached to it, into your deck, and your opponent can't play any prize cards for it, ha, <laughs> Sparkle Motion, you never know, Sparkle Motion could be a fun attack to spread damage across the board, and then, of course, we are Fire Weak, and has one Retreat Cost, all right, so, being as it is, Celebi Month, I, I just had to build this deck as well. So again, like I said, Celebi is going to be the focal point. Celebi hit and run tactic, very straightforward tactic. We've seen this over and over again with things like uh, Don Fan and whatnot, being able to use hit and run. Um, and then, uh, so supporting cast, we have Shaman EX here, uh, as well as Setup and Sky Return. Then we're going to run a 2-2 line of Arados with Poisonous Ness. And I guess Impound can kind of do that too. Uh, we... Since the, uh, uh, not Spin Rack here, since Celebi EX's attack is so weak, hits for only 60, plus a Muscle Band hit for 80, we need to have the poison damage here, including um, Verbing City Gem, right? Verbing City Gem between two turns, from our turn to our opponent's turn, from our opponent's turn back to our turn, is going to be 60 total damage, plus the Muscle Band on top of this uh, 60 here. We're going to be hitting for 140, right? So... Yeah, it's pretty good, um, and it should be able to knock out most Megas in two turns, if that's the case. Uh, and, you know, I, yeah, it's just so weak that, you know, again, this deck is not competitive by any means. It's just for fun. It's for celebrating Pokemon 20 years, and it's for celebrating Celebi EX. Ha! All right. Um, so that's our Pokemon line right here. Pretty straightforward, pretty good, pretty... You know, if you guys have questions, comments, post them in the comments below. Uh, we have for the Ace Spectre Choice Computer Search, discard two cards from your hand so you can search for any card in your deck. We also have the Eco Arm right here, shovel three Pokemon tools back into, uh, from discard pile back into your deck. We do play a lot of tool cards, and I'll tell you guys really shortly. We have the Robo Substitute here, of course, the hit and run. We're going to hit uh, into uh, uh, hit a Pokemon and then run either into Robo Sub or Celebi because Leap Through Time here can potentially deny our opponent from taking prize cards. And additionally, we get this shuffle Celebi back into our deck. So that means I'm only playing three copies of these. I do have four, as you can see here, but I opted to only play three simply because since we can continually shuffle Celebi, why not, right? We do play Super Rod here, one copy of Super Rod in case we need to shuffle back Zoroark or Aerodos and things like that. We have the Ultra Ball, three of these, and three VS Seekers. That's going to be it for our item cards. Pretty straightforward. We have for the support line AZ right here. You may be thinking, why AZ? Well, you know, Shaman. That, that's about it. Okay. Uh, we do have Lysander here, one copy of Lysander, three ends, one Professor Birch's Observation, two Juniper, and one Skyla. And then we have Skyfield. Now, you may be thinking, why Skyfield? Well, because we are going to be trying, we could potentially fill up our bench a lot with Robo Subs and, and Celebes and things like that. And then we also want to get rid of the Shamans once we're done with them. We don't want to keep these Shamans around and be a target with that. And so, you know, we can play this Skyfield play seven cards onto the bench seven pokemon onto the bench and if they counter the stadium we'll just get rid of the shamans that's kind of the idea and then we have two verbing citizens here just attack on three extra damage counters in between turns for the poison damage and then we have the bursting balloon so this is going to be pretty fun what we're going to be doing is promoting either celebi or 
the um, Rubble Sub, and then we're just going to play Bursting Balloon here, and then maybe just say, hey, if you want to attack us, take that. You know, take six damage counters. So we're playing three copies of these. Once again, we do have the one single equal arm here that can get those back. We're going to be playing two full stones here, first for the Zoroark to stand in and retreat, two Muscle Bands here for our Celebi EXs, and then four DCEs and eight Grass Energies. That's going to be it for this deck analysis. Hopefully you guys got the gist of it. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG online all right we're going to play against dan grin s and it is a psychic and darkness deck we even see this psychic coin over there as well let's go with heads and yes it is heads we get to go first that way we get to evolve first let's go ahead and see what we can do right here and we're going to start off with the zura plus the float stone looking like a solid start to me and uh, we even get to uh, probably we're going to discard the grass energy as well as this bursting balloon since of course uh, we uh, we don't well we can always get it back with the um, what is it the eco arm so that's always good news. Uh, besides that, we could discard the via seeker. It's pretty useless in our hand right now, but we only play three of them, so we gotta be pretty careful of uh, when we want to use them or not. Anyways, our opponent's gonna be choosing his active Pokemon. We are gonna be starting off with the Zoro, the only active that we have. Uh, if we can get the Shaman out, uh, that would be terrific. Um, very likely we'll either play the Bursting Balloon, depending on what my opponent starts off with. Again, going second for my opponent, he's able to attack first. So we could go with a Bursting Balloon just to try to stall, make him not want to attack right away. Uh, our Zoro is only 60 HP. So if he starts off with like a Latios with um, a Muscle Band, then that could be a knockout on our poor Zoro right away. Uh, yeah, pretty tragic. But we'll find out what he's going to be starting off with. I think he is playing Psychic and Darkness. So there's no we're not going to see Latios. Uh, we could see Deoxys, which can, you know, um, not, not, nothing to be worried about. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm thinking right now, um, I want to, I think I'm, I'm leaning towards discarding the Bursting Balloon over the Via Seeker, simply because we can't get Via Seeker back, and we only play three. We play three Bursting Balloons, but we do play Eco Arm, and so that virtually gives us, like, a little bit more... Um, Oh dear, two, do I, a Zoro right here too? Oh man, okay. Um, so I'm pretty confident he's not gonna attack. Uh, let's go with the Fold Stone. Okay, and uh, we will have to go and discard this right here as well as this right there. And uh, let's grab, I'm just gonna grab a Pokemon to burn. Um, trust me, there's a method to this madness. There is a method to this madness. I'll discard these two. Now we're going to get Shaman. All right, so this is the most optimal route. And then again, I'll, I'm going to super rod them right now. So I'll super rod them right back into my deck. Look at that, huh? Huh? Pretty, pretty optimal, right? Not so bad, huh? There we go. Now we get to draw five cards. All that just to draw five cards. My goodness. And I guess we still got the Verbink. Well, we still got the Zorark. Um, mm, I suppose we'll have to end the turn here. Uh, I don't want to miss an energy drop. I wanted to play the energy at the very least. Perhaps we could go with a Paralyzing Gaze. You never know. We see a Sharon over there. Oh, man. Shaman the X was a flop. Oh, wow. We see a Robo Sub. So the Zorora here may very well be around here just to stand in and retreat. Um, probably for Gengar, I would think. All right, so here is a Psychic Energy drop, okay. Um, hmm. So I can only assume he's probably playing Verbing City Gym as well. Um, oh my goodness, why are we getting these guys? Uh, pathetic. Let's go with the Paralyzing Gaze. Come on, Paralyze. Oh, snap, we got him Paralyzed. Okay, I mean, if anything, if he top decked a Zorark, then so be it. If not, uh, we can maybe dodge a Dark Edge. Oh, snap, discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. <laughs> okay, well, um, we are in straight up top deck mode. I think my opponent's in top deck mode too. Uh, not really able to get anything going for us. We have another spinner rack here, which is totally useless. I wish this was a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, if only this was the uh, uh, Erados, we would have poisoned the Zerua. And then, well, first of all, we would have retreated, I guess, and then poisoned. And then poisoned, but uh, 
Anyways, my opponent just passes the turn. Uh, this is pretty uneventful. Um, hmm. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We will play this right there. All right, let's retreat. And we'll go with the Sky Return. Boom! Okay, bring out the Zoroark here. Now it's at 100 HP. Um, yeah, pretty pathetic, but uh, we need to find a way to draw more cards. And playing Shaman is probably one of our best options as of right now. Um, yeah, we have a DCE that we can't even use. But unless we top deck a Celebi EX, we can play the DCE, play the Muscle Band, and then play the Verbing City Gem. And that's already, what, one, two, three. Okay, top deck time! Top deck! Oh my goodness, did I not call it? This was beautiful. Got everything we need right here. And we'll draw four extra cards. Could have played this spinner act too, but I'm going to save the bench space for some other things. Now, we get another Shaman here, uh, which is fine. I'm actually going to retreat into um, the spinner rack, I suppose. All right, and then we're going to end the turn. All right, so now we'll get the Celebi out here. We could actually probably attack with the Shaman again if I really wanted to and then use Shaman one more time. But, um, yeah, oh, man. Okay, it is what it is. Um, okay, well, woohoo, we got another Ultra Ball here. This is very tempting. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. That's one of our Via Seekers already. So, we've got the Eratos here. This is perfect. Now, we can go ahead and paralyze this. Well, not, not paralyze, poison. Here's our another Shaman here just to draw more cards. Man, we are really forcing the issue right now. And we have a Sky Field, so... Um, Alright, well, you know what? I don't exactly want... I don't even need to, to play anything here. Let's just go ahead and retreat. Uh, I'm looking at Skyla right now, though. For an N, I think. Uh, or the Professor Birch's Observation. Let's do the Birch's Observation! Okay. Alright. Win Whisk, here we go! Um, I'm actually going to promote the Shaman. Yeah, how about that, huh? All right, in the next turn, I'm actually going to Shaman. I'm going to use the Shaman to hit for Sky Return and, um, you know, remove, remove some bench space here. However, we have yet to see anything happen from my opponent. We see a teammates right now. We could see the Gengar. We could see another Zerua. Um, maybe you see some more Robo subs. My opponent's got a decent hand size here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards in his hand. I mean, gosh, he was in top deck mode for who knows how long. He's got to make sure he's getting the exact two cards he needs. And he gets a Hoopa. Uh, we're going to see Gengar right now, folks. I'm pretty sure. Either that or a Mewtwo's. Um, but I'm almost confident. Wow, Toxicroak, Mew, and Mewtwo EX. Never mind, no Gengars. Okay. I don't know what this Robo Sub is here for then. Uh, maybe just a stall, perhaps. Uh, but wow, okay. He's got a ridiculous hand size. He's gone for teammates to get Hoopa to get Mew to EX to get Mew EX to get Toxicroak EX. And his bench is basically full. Now, our Zorak here is, is pretty much ready to attack uh, to do a ton of damage. Um, either the Robo Sub gets discarded right here or I don't know what happens next. But um, the Shaman's pretty safe, I gotta say. I don't think the Shaman's gonna get knocked out by any means. Um, and uh, woo. Magnetic Storm, of all things. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, well, I'll be darn. Okay. We're gonna get rid of this guy. Um, I'm just gonna. Let's go with the Celebi right here. Let's go with the Professor Birch's observations, and we get tails. Of course, we'll get tails. Uh, but on the other hand, we do get a DCE. Which, I'm just going to go ahead and Sky Return, get rid of this Robo Sub. And uh, let's go ahead, we'll promote the Celebi here. Maybe if we flip heads, my opponent won't take any prizes, and we'll leap through time, and the Celebi goes back into our deck. How about that, huh? Alright, so the Mewtwo, or the Mew here can copy the Mewtwo's e uh, EX's attack. Either that or the Toxic Croak's attack. Oh my goodness. And a Muscle Band, that is ridiculous. And he Mega Evolves. Wow. All right, uh, how are we going to deal with this? Two, are you kidding me? Two of these are on here. He's going to go for a Psychic Infinity. 
just gotta hope we flip heads. Psychic Infinity flipping heads. Can we flip heads? Come on. Yes, we flipped heads. Thank goodness. And let's go ahead and promote our Celebi here. Now, uh, if we could get Verbank City Gym, that would be just fantastic. All right, so let's go with the Via Seeker. Uh, these DCs are way too valuable right now. I'm gonna go with another Professor Birch's observation. Watch, we're gonna flip Tails. I'm calling it right now. It's Tails. Oh, I knew it. Uh, we do get another Celebi right here. And, um, let's go ahead. We will Poisonous Nest. Put that right there. Too bad. Verbing City Gym. Sorry, I'm not here right now. We could have definitely put a lot of pressure on this, uh, new EX. But, um, question one, two, three. Um... We're hitting for 100 plus poison, 110, not enough. Let's go ahead, we'll go with this time recall, and we'll promote our Celebi right here. Heading for 80 damage plus the poison damage. And coming into our turn, uh, he'll be down to 20. So we could probably, if this Celebi survives, uh, that'd be great. Um, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? He's going to retreat. I'm pretty sure he's going to retreat. Otherwise, I mean, if he knocks out our Celebi here, we're going to knock out this. Never mind. Okay, he's going to knock out the, the non-EX Celebi. Um, looks like he's going to go with the replace move as many energy attached to your Pokemon in any way you like. Oh, okay. So, this Mew EX is basically going to be here to pass out. And, um, and he moved all the energies onto the Mega Mewtwo over here. So, he's basically sacrificing uh, the Mewtwo. All right, so... Well, since we're, while we're at it, uh, might as well go with the Sky, Re Sky Re Return. And, um, yeah. All right, here we go. Sky Return! Maybe you can draw some more cards this way. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, let's promote Let's promote our Celebi. Uh, we got rid of uh, another target, perhaps. My opponent can lie center out the, the Shaman. So we got rid of that. Now we're down to three cards, or three prize cards. The end isn't very valuable at this point, but we've been getting tails on Professor Birch anyways. Might as well. Oh no! The Celebi is going to get knocked out, and this is dramatic. We don't have any more Celebis to back up. And, um, and yeah, so this is pretty bad. Uh, our Celebi going down, we need to pull something off right now. I'm going to go ahead We'll promote the Zoroark right here. Uh, do we get oh man we did get the Celebi here let's go ahead and play that right there and um, hmm I'll play this Zerua right now I think um, we'll play this right here as well let's go ahead and play the Shaman draw into some more cards can we draw in some goodies uh, we got a Verbink uh, City Gem fantastic Great. All right. Let's go with the end now. Hopefully, my opponent won't have any more Via Seekers or any more Lysanders. I'd like to preserve the Celebi here if I could. Um, could definitely mind jack right now, but um, let's go ahead. We will just retreat into the Celebi and let's go with the Poisonous Nest right now. <laughs> and maybe we can buy a turn. All right. So, 30 damage onto the Mega Mewtwo. If we can buy a turn, that would be huge. If not, uh, it is what it is. We see the Duskull over there, so that's going to be able to manipulate damage counters on our side of the field, looks like. Uh, at least that's, I think that's what my opponent's going to be shooting for. Um, seven turns will take down this Mega Mewtwo because of the Verbing City Gem, unless he counters the stadium. Besides that, we really need, we desperately need to get um, an energy drop onto the Celebi. Zora can attack. One, two, three, can hit for 100 damage. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Psychic Infinity, flip heads, please! Come on, Celebi, time, leap through time fails! Oh no, the leap through time failed, and now we are tied in prizes. Uh, again, we can hit for a hundred. Um, we got another float stone here. Uh, not that we really need that. Let's go ahead and play this right here. Uh, we'll play the float stone on this. Let's go ahead and AZ up the Shaman. Draw into a bunch more cards. Five more cards. Here we go. Can we get an energy? We need an energy. Desperately need an energy. No, we missed it. Uh, I'm actually going to attack. Yes, I'm going to attack with Mind Jack right now and apply a lot of pressure against this uh, Mew. Mega Mewtwo EX plus the poison damage. And so uh, if he wants to attack, he's going to have to retreat. Either that or find a way to heal everything off. Could use a uh, Pokemon Center Lady. We see the 
um, oh, it's 06 in there. Here's a delinquent. Does discard the stadium? However, um, uh, yeah, we will have to get rid of this Aratos here as well as Juniper. Get rid of both Junipers. We've got a BS Seeker in our hand. Okay. Um, so, yes, this we, we can play Sky Field. Uh, so that's good news. And uh, maybe maybe try to bench some more Robo subs. We got more Celebes. Got plenty of tools. We can evolve the Zoroark if we uh, if we can find another one. We're down to 18 cards. Still pretty healthy. My opponent's at 29. So you know we're we're probably the ones gonna deck out first before our opponent does. But yeah, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energies on here times three. Um, uh, seven, nine times three. <laughs> That's insane. He's gonna pay their tree costs. All right. Um, and passes the turn. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's go with this right here. And uh, looks like he didn't do much else. I'm just gonna VS Seeker for the Juniper. I think we're gonna get rid of the N. I don't want to be N down. To three, so let's go with this. We do have this eco arm here. How many tools cards do we got? One, two, only two so far. Okay, um, yeah, so kind of strange. Uh, one way to get rid of this Mew is basically to go with this right here. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go with these sparkle motions. Wow, you know, who the thunk? That we can knock out a Mega Mewtwo this way. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, man. This is way too funny. So if my opponent counters the stadium, first thing's going to go is probably the Shaman here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll probably have to get rid of the Robo Sub. And that's okay. we got two more Robo Subs in our hand. Um, but, yeah. So if he does counter the stadium, that's going to be the way to go. He goes for a Maintenance here and gets another card after putting two back into his deck. We see a Steven. So that's pretty good. At least we're not going to see Lysander or anything like that. We do have another energy right here, which can play onto this Celebi if needed. Um, again, one, two energies in the discard pile, one being a DCE. Uh, we could have a triple poison right now, put three damage counters instead. That's not going to knock us out. We can just reset it with Zorak to stand in and retreat. And then uh, we'll play the energy onto this Celebi instead. Take another two prizes because this Mega Mewtwo here is going to get knocked out from a Sparkle Motion. Are you kidding me? Sparkle Motion is clutch. We see a Lysander right there. Very likely going to go and Lysander out the Celebi. But, um, you know, if anything, that's not going to happen in this turn unless he was able to get a Pokemon Catcher, I guess. Uh, he'll have to burn the retreat off of this Toxicroak and then Pokemon Catcher full for heads and then knock us out with Psychic Infinity on the Celebi over here. But we'll just fish him off anyways with our own non-EX Celebi. Oh man, Psychic Infinity hitting us for the knockout. Can we flip heads? Oh my gosh, we flipped tails again. Oh man, are you kidding me? Wow, Celebi is not pulling through here. Not pulling through at all, and uh, that's pretty tragic. Um, so, uh, we're gonna play an end right now. Uh, we know my opponent's got an energy, and uh, he's well, no, he's got Lysander. Um, so we could just play an end, I suppose. We got nine cards, um, got Robo subs as well. I'm gonna play end. I could have played the Robo subs, but let's play end right now. I know he's got Lysander. I don't want to deal with that. Two Robo Subs come back to their hand and an energy. Perfect. Are you kidding me? And he concedes the match. <laughs> we couldn't even. We didn't even get a chance to knock out the stinking Mega Mewtwo EX. Oh man! But wow, dang, that Mega Mewtwo was jacked up. Wow, jacked up. Having the Mew EX move those energy around and basically sacrificing the Mew is pretty strategic. That was pretty fun to see that happen. However. Um, yeah, Celebi X was pretty victorious here. Um, and the poison damage coming through from Irados. So let's go ahead and play one more match here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, we're going to play against Lucas Yi. Oh, boy. This looks good. We see a Mega Mewtwo deck box, I think that was. I'm going to go with heads. 
Yes, it is heads, and yes, we're gonna we're gonna get to go first. That way, we get to evolve first. <laughs> anyway, did I say sleeves? Yeah, yeah, Mega Mewtwo X sleeves right there. Not sure what this deck box is, but we're gonna start off with the Zoru, I believe. I think so. Yeah, you never know. We can go with the Paralyzing Gaze at some point. So, um, and also Float Stone is huge. If we can get the Float Stone, that'd be great. And uh, too bad we don't have Shaman. We have a lot of things we can play, but not too many things we can really do. Okay, uh, VS Seeker could be pretty handy, uh, I guess. Too bad we don't play Battle Compressor. There's no, um, <laughs> there's no support here in the discard pile. We only play three of these, remember. So, um, as of right now, I'm thinking, we, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards playing Zerua. Uh, certainly, we could just play the, um, the Celebi, you know. And that way, Selby would could just maybe we could top deck a DCE and start attacking right away. It's kind of a risk, uh, but yeah, we'll go with the Zoro. I think that's probably the best route. Um, yeah. All right. So besides that, for sure, uh, Spinarak's gonna be hitting the floor, and same with Selby. Uh, depending on what my opponent's starting off with, I could play the Bursting Balloon. Um, maybe cautioning my opponent from uh, really attacking us right away or not. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, besides that, I, I'm definitely going to be playing the energy on this LB. All right. I mean, yeah, I, I thought about playing it onto Zorua. Could go on to the Paralyzing Gaze, but we can't even attack first anyways. So energy in our turn two, the Grass Energy could be dropped onto the Zorua. Could go with the Paralyzing Gaze by then, assuming nothing funky happens. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead. We'll bench down the Celebi and the Spinarak as expected. And oh, it's a Zubat. All right, it's got the free retreat too. Um, uh, I don't think the Zubat's gonna attack right away. Of course, it could do a wing attack if you see Dimension Valley and a uh, and a Psychic Energy drop. Um, you know, we have Psychic Resistance anyways, and so if he did Wing Attack, it's going to do zero damage. So no need to use Bursting Balloon. Um, yeah, I believe it has to be, if the Pokemon's card, it has to be attacked. Uh, it has to be damaged, right? So if we don't get damaged, the, the Bursting Balloon just goes away, and, and nothing happens to the Zubat. So he passes the turn. Um, okay. I much rather get, uh, much rather have DC right here. If I can get DC even a full stone, that'd be perfect. Never mind. We get the Zoroark here as well as a Celebi, so we can still get DCE and uh, full stone here. Two cards. Come on, DCE full stone. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess. I guess we're gonna have to play three. We're gonna have to go with straight up three grass energies. Man, I, if I had the Fold Stone plus a DCE, it would've been GG on this poor Zubat. I I probably helped my opponent out. I really did. I probably did. But I I had the opportunity there. We almost seized the moment. We almost got it. Pretty darn close. However. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay, though. I'm thinking... Oh, my goodness. He didn't do anything. Uh, I I still need to get a full stone. Um, so we're, we're going to have to do this. We didn't get the full stone. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? However, we did get this. Uh, I'm going to find a way to... To get it done here all right so let's go ahead and discard this right there okay all right uh let's get rid of this and this we'll keep it in for the next turn i know what you're thinking dce is valuable what are you doing but this is crunch time here if we get a float stone it's gg on the zubat are you kidding me we can't get a float stone no oh, what the Junks, man. We lost a DCE for that. I probably should have just gotten rid of the N. Ah, uh, man. A Pokemon fan club can't find the Fold Stone. Wow, look at these bats. Dang it. Where is Fold Stone? Don't tell me both of them are prized. If that's the case. Oh, man. 
Scoundrel ring? Goodness. Ugh, where is the fault stone? Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I'm gonna search my deck. And I better see a fault stone in there. Because I'm gonna play an N in the next turn. I played two N's and I've definitely helped my opponent out. This is my third N. We lost the DCE for crying out loud. Ugh. Dreadful. Just dreadful. We even see a shaman here. Now my opponent's got the ball rolling. We had so many chances to knock out this Zubat. Darn, I totally regret starting off with the Zerua now. I should have just started off with the Celebi. Okay, then. Let's get rid of this and this. Okay. All right, Foldstone, where are you at? You better be here. Where is this Foldstone? There is one Foldstone. Two Foldstones. Both Foldstones are here. And we just cannot get it. Are you kidding me? Now we have two useless shamans on the bench. Useless. Okay. Hey, Floatstone, about time you showed up. Thank you. No thank you. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um, I'll play this on to the Celebi, I suppose. Man. That is terrible. Just dreadful. Now we get a DCE. That's nice. Uh, I guess I can go with the, a Shaman to Sky Return, I suppose. Uh, oh, gosh. Terrible. Uh, well, anyways, we can still pull this off. Again, the Mewtwo can actually knock us out with the DCE drop. It can actually hit us for 80. If we flip heads, our leap through time can work out for us. Um, assuming he plays DCE, now the two Zubats here can evolve. Um, oh boy, a Fighting Fury Belt. He is going to knock us out right here. Uh, our Leap Through Time needs to pull off. Oh no, Flips Tails. Okay, Leap Through Time. Come on, Leap Through Time. Oh my goodness. Plays a Colrus for nine cards. Wow. All right. Um... We even get a professor's letter here. Very likely, he's gonna have those uh, those gold crow bats or uh, gold bats now. That's gonna be utterly annoying. We see it the Dende here. Never mind, no bats. And we flip heads. Thank goodness we flipped heads. Wow, that would have been brutal. All right, so what we're gonna do for sure? Uh, let's get rid of this and get rid of that. I want to get another Celebi uh, into play. Uh, a Celebi EX, that is. If we have any. Oh, okay, we got one more. Terrific. Definitely gonna have to use you as a backup attacker. Um, again, one DC is already gone. Now, I actually want to play an N right here to mess with my opponent's hand. He's got a huge hand size, and uh, I don't want to deal with that. So we're gonna put him down to six. I suppose that, you know, makes a little bit of a difference. But um, besides that, let's go ahead and We'll play this down here. Let's go and poison this nest. All right, perfect. Should be a two-hit knockout at this point. Let's go with the wind whisk. And we're actually going to promote the shaman here. Hitting for 80 plus poison damage. Kind of making sure he doesn't uh, target our Celebi and opts to target the shaman instead. Now, again, he could play DC. Oh, my goodness. The gold bats are raining down. And actually, he's targeting the Aratos. That's interesting. Uh, DCE can play down here. One, two, three, four. Um, oh man, goal is for an escape roll. We'll just bring out this other shaman here, anyways. Uh, he's gonna heal off the poison damage this way, though, and then uh, you know go ahead and go with the goal bat. But regardless, he's at 110 damage. Uh, our Celebi with the muscle band can knock it out. Uh, he's at what is it? 100 HP left. Oh, oh my goodness, a DC. Oh, both two DCs are gone. Oh man, why did I discard the DC? Should have discarded that N really regret it now um and we are in top deck mode my goodness are we in top deck mode two dcs on just like that we are stuck with one celebi my opponent's gonna go forth another colrus right here my goodness colrus is gonna be huge 10 cards so much for ending my opponent down to six i mean should have done that anyways i don't know should have discarded my dce oh man that's gonna that really bites okay but anyways, uh, Celebi here is going to pull us through. Celebi is going to come in clutch. Oh, 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 heals off some more, I see. Um, 
yeah, for sure, a DC could get dropped. Uh, Shaman with uh, basically become a target, but um, yeah, not much we can do unless we play Sky Field, which I don't really want to either. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just hope he doesn't have a Lysander in hand. That'd be rather annoying. Um, but the Mewtwo, it's gonna hit us. We're not a knockout at this point unless he plays. Uh, something like uh, maybe what, what is that called? Um, well, DC, he's got DC. He could play, and then uh, the power uh, plus power. That's right, plus power can hit us for another. Uh, or or v, actually, no, no. Um, Verbic City Gym can actually hit us for quite a bit. Oh wow, we see the gold bat. It's gonna probably target the Shaman, I would assume. Uh, or nothing really, huh? What happened there? He didn't target anything at all. Must have been a misclick. But uh, one, two, three. Uh, it's only 60, 70 damage on the Shaman. Our Shaman will survive the turn. Um, side drive, never mind. <laughs> on the other hand, side drive does knock us out. Um, okay. Well, strangely enough, this little potion here makes a huge difference. My opponent's going to be able to survive. And we're not going to find a way to get rid of that Fighting Fury belt either. So, um, let's go ahead. We will poison this nest. No DC, you couldn't play that on the Zoroark, so um, let's go ahead, we'll play this right here, and we're gonna have to go with the Wind Whisk right here, go into the Celebi. Not quite knocking this guy out, um, but pretty darn close. I mean, he's at 20 HP. Um, man, these DCEs are killing me. We had, if we had Zor Zoroark, Zoroark would have actually been able to knock him out. I believe, yeah, because uh, uh, it would have been able to do one, one, two, three, 30, 120. Yeah, it would have been able to knock him out. Oh, man, that's a lot of pressure right now on the Arados. All he needs is another Crobat. And that's going to be a knockout on the Arados. So how tragic is that? Oh, man. Okay. Well, we need to find a way to knock out this uh, Mewtwo EX here. Very likely, he's going to pay their cheat cost. Goes for a switch. Oh, man. Okay. Um, hmm. Gonna have to go with the Zorark here. Oh, man. So Zorark's gonna give up prize. Um, he's at 120. Darn. Okay. We gotta get rid of this Mewtwo EX somehow. If we do that, we may be able to pull us off. Uh, the Crobat's gonna give him free retreat. Uh, we... Man, these... These escape ropes are huge for my opponent. Just huge. Um, but yeah, I mean, goodness. Can we still pull this off? Now, he needs to play another energy down to be able to use side drive. But he's going to be discarding another energy as well. He only has one energy in the discard pile. And he's got a pretty decent hand size of seven cards. We see a Shauna here. If he misses out on the energy, he won't be able to knock out the Zorark. And we will be able to dodge this bullet. But if he has the energy here. Uh, the Zorak's going to go down, and he's going to be down to two prizes. Uh, our Celebi will be able to finish him off, that's for sure. And yes, I think he's got the energy. Do we see the energy drop? Are we going to get hit with a side drive? Is this going to knock us out? I think so. And uh, otherwise, oh, there it is, a DCE instead. All right. So he's risking it here. We will knock out the Mewtwo. Lose out on the Zorark. So, all right. So here comes our Celebi. Man, pretty tragic the way that we started off missing the Floatstone a number of times. We get a stupid, it's just a dumb Professor Birch's observation that came in a terrible time here. You know, like of all times it could have came, it shows up now. You know. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead. We will hit Wind of Whisk and bring out the Celebi. Knocking out this Mewtwo here. Uh, yeah, if you guys can't tell, I am very disappointed in this uh, with what's happening right now. Uh, we will AZ up this Shaman, I suppose. Uh, we see a Crobat right here. Uh, man, okay. We can still, this can still work. This can still happen. We can still pull off a win somehow. Um, I don't know what my opponent can use right now to attack us. A lot of energies are in the discard pile for him. One, two, three, four energies in the discard pile. What do we see? We see an AZ. Now, AZ is not going to be able to knock out the Celebi, that's for sure, because of, uh, not not AZ, the, these abilities won't be able to affect the, the uh, Celebi here. However, my opponent can actually target the Shaman right now, and that, that could be pretty 
pretty sad. Um, I'm thinking, depending on what my opponent does, uh, I very well could just, uh, I don't know, squeeze my way out of this. We're going to wait and see. Who does he target? Um, we have a Selby ready to attack. We have Super Rod here as well. Let's see here. The Rattles can go back into the deck, Zoro and Zorark. So that's what we're going to do. I'll Super Rod those guys back into the deck. We don't really have any basic energies. We do. We have one basic energy in the discard pile. So um, looks pretty good. Um, here is a Robo Sub. Okay, let's go with Super Rod this back into our deck. One, two, three. Again, one Erodos is in our deck, so that's good news. Uh, let's go with that right there. And uh, we're going to go with the AZ, I think. Um, yeah, let's AZ this right now. I'm not going to play the full stone just yet. Okay, here we go. Let's go with this right there. And we'll go with the Bursting Balloon one more time. Uh, let's go with the Wind Whisk. And then we're going to switch back into the Celebi here. Celebi is sitting here with the Bursting Balloon. Now, in the next turn, I will shuffle the Bursting Balloon and the Foldstone back with Eco Arm. And then I'll play the Foldstone onto the Celebi and to retreat the Celebi into our Celebi EX. Uh, I will probably go with the Professor Sycamore or Juniper and discard the Sky Fuel away. A little bit tragic. We're down 18 cards. That's something to look out for. We don't want to deck out by any means. We see the Golbat come into play. That could definitely target our Celebi EXs, maybe even the Shaman EX. Um, but okay, goals for the Celebi EX. Oh, man. So this is going to be pretty huge. Uh, I don't know how many VS Seekers we got left. We got one VS Seeker in the discard pile, so we could still AZ up the Celebi if it gets really, really injured. And that way we can deny my opponent from taking two prizes um, and, and squeeze out a win this way. Otherwise, we should get the knockout on this Crobat in the next turn. We see Shaman right now uh, could go for a Sky Return and hit the Celebi. And that way it would, it would also... Uh, get rid of this Bursting Balloon, avoid getting 60 damage that way. <clears throat> uh, we see a Via Seeker. Uh, it's going to go for a Chorus. Okay, so he opted not to go for the AZ to, to pick up the Crobat. I actually would have done that. Either that or he has, um, uh, what do you call it? He has the, uh, um, I, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, goes for a Chorus. So, so goes for the uh, Hoopa for no, no, for no reason. Super Scoop Up, that's what I meant to say. Uh, he could use the, a scoop up Cyclone as the aspect of choice, and that could definitely scoop up the Crobat, unless it's the last two cards prized. Um, he's only played one Super Scoop Up so far. Uh, he's going to go and play for an energy off the Professor Birch's or for the Professor's Letter. We see the Shaman right here is going to hit us for the Sky Return. And uh, there it goes. There it goes. Sky Return. And I don't know, he could bring out the Crobat, could bring out something else, really. Um, probably the Hoopa EX, because it's going to take a couple turns to knock it out. Um, and so I would assume he's going to promote the Hoopa, but the Hoopa's kind of just dead weight sitting out there with two retreat. Yes, it is the Hoopa right there, as expected. Okay, so now let's go with this right there. Um... I could end my opponent down to two, which I think I'm going to do. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab the Bursting Balloon. Grab those right there. And yeah, I know we're going to go down to three. And we're going to use up one of our VS Seekers. We do have two left. Um, so or we do have one left. So let's go ahead. We're going to AZ my opponent. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Um, I don't know what exactly my opponent has up his sleeves but we'll just chip away at this hoopa right now wind whisk hitting for um however much there we go and we'll just go with the selby that has the float stone so again the selby being knocked out by damage we have a chance to flip heads and deny my opponent from taking a prize card so there's that going for us Right now, he's going to need to find a way to get rid of the Hoopa. Uh, he does play AZ. I believe we saw that. So, Oh, Crobat comes here. Probably going to chip away at this Celebi. Um, man, he got a Crobat off the end. That's crazy. Two cards, and he got a Crobat. I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Um, yeah. 
Man, this game should have ended long ago. Oh, thank goodness. The Crobat. <laughs> he targeted the Crobat. Ancient Trait. Thank you, Ancient Trait. Failed to hurt the Celebi. And look at this. Uh, it's going to go for the Energy Retrieval. Looks like the Crobat is going to plan to attack at some point. Um, and this is it. Passes the turn. Um, okay. So, uh, I can... I can Probably go on and do a sparkle motion. I don't know how many turns that'll take. Either that or I can probably I'm gonna hit the you know, hitting the, the hoopa is most likely what I want to do at this point. Let's go ahead and go with the let's see, this card attached to one of your Pokemon. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and we will promote the uh, Robo Sub right now, hit for 80. Now, my point, again, he needs to retreat this Hoopa somehow. Um, and I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. Again, he's going to be, he has, he has to play the Crobat to do a surprise bite. Now, I wonder, does this work if our Pokemon's on the bench? Oh, it's only the active Pokemon. That's right. Okay. Um, hmm. So... Oh, we see an energy drop on the Hoopa EX on the bench. So he's going to let this one pass out. And it is. It's going to pass out, guys. It is going to pass out. So um, let's just discard this guy from play. And I'm actually going to promote this Celebi right here, as crazy as it sounds. All right. Um, and we'll, we'll even play this Bursting Balloon. Okay, we're gonna go with Sparkle Motion, knock out the Hoopa, and spread 10 damage across the board. Uh, this actually works very well. Uh, why is that? Well, simply because that way it's a one hit knockout on the Dene, it'll be a two hit knockout on the Crobat, and it'll also be a two hit knockout on the Hoopa. Uh, well, it'll have been a two hit knockout on the Crobat regardless, but uh, if he does manage to discard the Muscle Band, that's what I'm saying. Actually, it would have been a one-hit knockout on the, the Dene anyways. But what I'm saying is, if he does discard this muscle band, it would have been a, a one-hit knockout. So, um, But also, we want to leave the Celebi out here and uh, and go this route. So, Crobat very likely is going to hit our Celebi EX on the bench. Um, that's going to take a couple turns to do that. But like I said, our Celebi here should be able to take, you know, should be able to... To take this crowbat out in two turns. We see another Dene there. We see it heal off 30 from this crowbat over here, but he's still at 70 HP. That should be a one-hit knockout from this Celebi. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I'm thinking the Dene. Ooh, okay. Dene can actually hit energy short uh, 20 times, so we have three energies here. It can actually hit us for 60 damage on the Celebi EX. Um. Yeah, I mean, we have we have a DCE here, which can play on to the Shaman and go for Sky Return. Um, we see the Skill Dive. Again, it's going to target this Celebi here, very likely. And yes, rightfully so. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we do have Via Seeker. I'm going to hang on to that. Let's see. He can Skill Dive us on us one more time. Um, let's go ahead. We will just pay the Retreat cost right here. Uh, we're going to go with this now i'm not gonna take any you know i don't think i should take any chances he could via seeker and hit us with this right here so i mean not via seeker but lysander out the celebi um and we're gonna go and grab the az so again like i said right he if he plays lysander and brings out the celebi it's gonna be over for us he'll take the last two prizes we will deny him from doing that, and uh, let's do with the Wind of Whisk, and we're, we'll promote the Celebi here with the Fold Stone. All right, so we're one knockout away. Too bad we don't have a Muscle Band on the Shaman. I could actually play the DC on the Shaman and play the Muscle Band on here. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think this game could be wrapped up right now. I'm pretty sure this is going to be ours, playing against this kind of a psychic deck with Hoopa and... And a Mewtwo, a big Mewtwo over there. Uh, dang. Okay. All right. So Hoopa gets another energy drop. And that's it. Concedes the match. Yes. We'll finally take the victory here. Wow. My opponent took a lot of time. My goodness. He took a lot of time. 
But Celebi EX here is the winner and celebrating Celebi Month as uh, we celebrate 20 years of Pokemon. Um, I don't exactly know what kind of deck this was in the meta, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, we should have... What frustrated me was not being able to dig out that one Floatstone. Could have ended this game a long time ago. And we ended up playing N a couple times. I think one of the biggest mistakes, looking back on this this game uh, this game right now, is uh, discarding the DCE. That was pretty disappointing. I uh, should have kept on to that, and uh, could have used Zoroark as an attacker as well. But uh, those those escape ropes, my goodness, those are huge for my opponent. Wow. Well, this is gonna be it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below this video. If you guys are returning subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for subscribing. You guys take care. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. All right, we have right here an XY base set pack. 10 additional game cards. What can we get out of this one right here? Maybe it's going to be a full art something. <laughs> it's just an art box.